Welcome in once again to the broadcast as now we're joined by SAC Coach of the Year and now uh, head coach of the conference tournament champion Carson Newman Eagles in Chuck Benson. And Coach Benson, first off, congratulations on thank the win. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I just hold our players. Uh, it's one thing to, uh, we, we've won this tournament a few years back at Furman on a neutral site. It's an entirely different thing to do it uh, more or less on the road mm -hmm. uh, at, at a place like Queens that has just demonstrates such a level of consistency and so it makes it that much sweeter because I, I've got the utmost respect for Coach Lundy and the program he's built and the players um, and so this this is even a sweeter kind of success story for us. Well coach talk about what happened in the second half. First half Ren Dyer uh, held within check and really kind of defensively <coughs> Queens really had the number yeah. there in the first half but that being said you guys came out after the halftime and just got red hot. So what did you see from your team in terms of expanding those offensive numbers? Well, I think I thought we, we we sort of did something we've been able to do quite a bit this year, and that is to let our defense generate offense. Mm -hmm. I thought we got in transition, and, and Ren and some other guys were able to find shots in transition, uh, and, and that was sort of the separator, offensively speaking. But on the defensive side, man, I, I thought it really started there. We defended um, uh, and rebounded uh, well enough to give ourselves a chance to, to, to get opportunities. Absolutely. And coach, I, I thought in the in the throughout the game, I thought one big lift that you guys got was from Butts and Bowens yes. uh, off the yeah. bench. Those guys yeah. gave you yes. uh, I think it was twenty two points off the bench. Yeah. Uh, that's a big lift. Talk about the Huge. energy and what those guys yeah. gave you in the first half in terms of confidence to carry over in the second well, I, half. I think that's a great point you make. Uh, I mean those guys are uh, you know, those those are both freshmen. Dyer's a freshman. Uh, we played five freshmen today out, out there a substantial amount of minutes. And, and, and uh, you know, Butts in particular had won a couple state championships in high school, and so he, he understands the stage. Uh, Bowens, same kind of thing, has, has, has gone deep in, into uh, high school playoff uh, appearances. So those guys, I thought, came out and had a great deal of poise, a great deal of confidence. And, uh, you know, obviously, uh, we don't win without them. I mean, uh, when you take E.J. Bush and Bryant Thomas off the court, it would be hard to say we don't really skip a beat, but today we really didn't skip a beat. They kept on sort of mm -hmm. just motoring forward for us, and that consistency was the difference maker. And I thought on the defensive end of the floor, and I, yeah. I want to start with Trip Davis, um, and, and and that zone as well throughout the yeah. game, different looks of zones. Yeah, I thought your defensive pressure extended out yes. and really tried to kind of make Queens uncomfortable, yeah. and it was extended almost to. I've made a couple yeah, of points yeah. almost out to the logo a couple of times. Right. What was the idea behind that? Well, I mean, uh, you know. Um, the first time we played them earlier this year, um, I think they made 10 threes on us. Uh, mm -hmm. And then, of course, McClooney got hot. And, and you know that Kenny Dye can get hot at any, any moment. So we were not, – not that we were necessarily uh, saying to our guys, hey, let's defend the three, because we really wanted to take away the interior because between uh, Smith and, and Reigns and, and Jadon, those guys, I mean, they, 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 can, they can hurt you in there, uh, maybe even more so than the perimeter. But our guys just got a little bit ex excited. And, and started being a little bit more zesty about some things. And, <laughs> and Trip sort of sets that off a bit. Sure. And uh, we, we didn't wrangle them back in. Uh, we, we let them sort of go what they instinctually were feeling. Well, Coach, uh, for, again, congratulations. On to the NCAA yeah. tournament. You know, can you just give us a little preview in terms of what you said to your guys once you huddled up there? Obviously, some excited moments, a lot of cheers, a lot of yells. Yeah. But what did you tell your team right off the bat? Say, hey, good win. Uh, you know, uh, well, obviously, um, this – we were, we were preseason pick ninth in this conference, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, and we had a really um, down season last year, and so the turnaround from last year to this year was immense. And I, I thought for the last, uh, I mean, I think that's our 11th game in a row we've won now. Yes. And it feels like our, our guys just kept on sort of building momentum, and I kept on trying to feed it and foster it. And, and I just told them, like, hey, man, this, this is what we said we wanted to do, and we mm -hmm. actually did it. And, and so many times in sport, uh, you know, everybody has the same objective. <laughs> But only, only uh, you know, one That's team right. really gets to walk away with it. Sure. And, and I was just sort of like, man, you all said y'all were going to do this. Trip Davis, I mean, literally the other night after our Tusculum game, the semifinals, he's like, we're going to go there on Sunday and win that thing, just watch and see. That's literally what he told me within seconds of that Tusculum game ending. And so he and I were, <laughs> I mean, we were just talking about like, man, I told, he's like, I told you. I, t I told you what was going to happen. Um, and so, you know, uh, I'm just really, really thankful for the opportunity and really uh, proud of the guys. I mean, the resiliency, the determination, the fight, sure. the unity, the chemistry, the belief. Um, it's 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 uh, it's my 18th year as a college head coach, and it's, it, it might be the the, the, the the most impressive experience I've I've in, I've had with the team up to this point. Well, coach, congratulations. Go enjoy with your team. Uh, have a safe trip back, and of course, best of luck next week right. as you guys head on in the NCAA tournament. Great, right. thanks, guys. Absolutely, thanks, coach. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.